Hi everyone, this is your girl Shortcake and welcome to my YouTube channel. Hi, hello, how are you? So for today's episode, we're gonna be exploring or doing a supply run. And I've made my initial supply run but we weren't able to unlock the hard mode. So this time, we are going on the hard mode. And I've already, uh, this area right here was actually for a like a hidden here a hidden survivor so since i'm currently looking for as much as resources as i can we're not gonna dive right into that and okay so let's dive right into it so let's check okay we're gonna have to put her him there And by the way guys, just a disclaimer, I'm not a professional gamer, I'm just doing my own thing. But if you have any suggestions or uh, anything, if you think that I did it wrong, please leave a comment down below. That will definitely improve my gameplay. Alrighty, so we're able to defeat the first raider. Okay, so we have two options, new blood, joys of victory, and short break. So I think I'm gonna go with the new blood so let's check that one so we have two options either hidden survivor or here it's actually pretty much the same if i'm going to select this one i'm gonna be unlocking this one if i'm going to select this one i have two options either i'm gonna going to select this hidden survivor right here or do the attack so in that case i'm gonna go first with the available hidden survivor and let's check who this is so this is magna i've heard actually that magna is great so i'm gonna going to get magna and then let's defeat the elite raider right here okay so her main damager is either nia or this rick grimes right here so same position i'm gonna have to put it that way for abraham to be able to pull him up in this area Oh, and also, I can put him in the front, but there's a f possibility that his third skill will be dodged. So, I'll just have to put him at the back. I'm not sure what's the skill of this one yet. So, that's why I put him in the, I put him in the back. Alright, so our survivor's health is actually pretty much okay at this time. And my synergy that I'm currently using is uh, we're able to unlock three and mostly I've used R neutral. So that is Denise, R, and Abe. So we have three selections again. We have the front row tactical shield, bear trap, and HP restoration which is on the uh, all of three are on the epic. okay i'm not sure which is which okay i think we're gonna have to go with this uh bear trap and i'm gonna have to dive right in here because um, if i'm going to select this one right here i will be routed to this uh safety ish area what it's called again it is uh, the safe zone and we're we're not gonna be needing that at the moment so we're gonna have to do the raid as I've mentioned, we need resources as much as possible. Alrighty. Oh, I forgot to switch the alignments, but yeah, still doing okay. Our uh, our survivors are still doing okay. As you can see, their health are uh, on its maximum level at this time. So by the way, we are at the easy mode on the first floor. So comeback, surviving character, attack plus crit rate, 10% for characters in the back row. So we're going to have to go with the survivor manual. Okay, so we're going to have to do the raid again. And... Okay, so his main damager is... So he's actually... I'm confused what I'm... Oh, well, let's have to put him in the front and let's see how it goes okay still actually pretty much okay our survivors are still in pretty much good health on this stage 
So next up, HP restoration, we're not gonna do that. Entering combat, speed 50 for 6 seconds. So I think we're gonna have to the, go with the tactical shoes. And we're gonna go with the elite raider again. And okay, so yeah, uh, still good thing Abraham is in the front because this guy right here will keeps us, uh, will push us forward. And yeah, let's do it that way. Though I'd love to pull in Kate because that is her main damager right there, Kate. But I think that'll pretty much be okay. Yeah, still doing great. Okay, binoculars. Characters removes enemies buff. Entering speed plus 10 and basic attack chance to poison the enemy stack. So let's just have to go with the binoculars and elite raider. Let's go with the elite raider again. So, yeah, that's pretty much okay. So we can get this man right here in the center and shoot. So we're only able to capture two out of three because Sarah right here goes in the back so i can leave i uh, actually find sarah strong in pve i don't know um i'm kind of getting difficulty and defeating sarah from pve in the world stage right now so i'm kind of stuck at 10 dash at uh, 12 dash 4. okay so next up so we don't have any predator at this time so it's very critical to check this one as well because if you don't have this alignment on your survivors in the battle, you won't be able to have this buff. So in that case, I don't have Predator. I'm going to be choosing either of these three. And I'm going to go with FMJ, which is the crit rate of 15%. So that'll affect to all the survivors that I've had. And in this area, we're going to have to go with the Elite Raider again. And let's dive right in okay so i'm gonna have to put him there so we could have her ma we can pull in magna from the back okay that's pretty much great because there is a possibility that if we're going to put him in the front there's a huge possibility that the third skill of abe will be blocked so that's what we are trying to avoid and i'm gonna have to go of course with the unique one and let's just go with the safe zone though we don't pretty much need that at the moment so let's dive right into the boss okay uh, let's try putting him in the front Yeah, let's try putting him in the front. Let's see if we can Okay, we're still able to Abyss is still able to use his third skill And by the way, this is beta. So beta is actually pretty strong I'm not just using him right now because I don't have a copy of him And next stop so I have only two options right here and the top because I don't have a bystander on Oh, I have a bystander right now, but it's just one. It's Therese but i'm not gonna be using that so let's just go with str character death or strength character defense plus 30 percent and one percent hps okay hopefully all right we're able to get the items so let's go on to the second floor hopefully we'll be able to unlock the hard mode right here so let's do the raid again And by the way guys, uh, whilst we're still doing this one, if you don't have any community yet, you can join our community, the, the Resurgence. I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna flag that later on. And yeah, you can pretty much join us anytime. Okay, so we have two options available right here. Debuff duration 50% and defense 25 for each ally character. I think I only have one ally character on my lineup right now. So we're going to have to use... 
sorry this combat manual right here and let's get this guy mm, should we or should we not so yeah let's just get this guy right here at the bottom okay so pretty much abe's third skill we will block i definitely forgot her name is it christine i i just called her masha anyway so let's just put her uh him in the middle and then teresa why did i put teresa at the back why teresa is a tank so he should be at the front why did i do that by the way i don't know why did i do that earlier Okay, so next up, combat stimulant, our first ultimate use energy, evade for each neutral character, first ultimate gain 40 max HP shield. So I'm confused. What should I do? Okay, I'm first. So I'm considering the combat stimulant and conceal. Uh, let's just go with the epic conceal then let's check what hidden survivor should we borrow i'm considering chloe so chloe is a technician okay what are her skills what is it? okay that's actually pretty good skill right there okay that's still good and she only have one passive, so yeah, I think we're gonna go with her. And we have two options. Let's check the peddler. I don't really have any gold bars right now, so we're gonna have we're not gonna buy anything. So let's just do the raid instead. That's pretty sad. I've used up most of my resources. I'm sorry. I mean, I've used up most of my gold bars when I got pissed. I can't seem to find a good survivor on the pulse and then I've just summoned and summoned and then I get nothing. Like literally useless I find. I mean all of the pulls I found was useless so I got pissed and used them up. So that's why I don't have gold bars right now. So I think we're gonna have to go with this one. Okay. How about this? Let's check. 175, 26, and 10k. 175, it's actually pretty much the same. I don't know why they have difference in combat power. So yeah, let's just go with the 225. And yeah, same position. I think I'm gonna have to put him in the front because Sarah will go to Glenn. Just a guess. But I think that'll what's gonna happen so yeah sarah went to glenn and gabe was able to pull sarah okay so we have third floor heart attack okay so yeah let's have no let's just go on that part Mm, okay 180 26 10 180 27 so yeah let's just go here at a 241 and yeah same position i guess yeah i i actually hate this dog i hate that dog Uh, just a disclaimer i love dog but in this game i hate that dog because it'll it'll confuse your survivor so yeah moving on we have three options military container epic so attack plus one by five death max 
15 for each epic unique strategy so i'll just have to go with the epic final resistance and 185 26 10 185 27 so in this case i think we'll just have to go here sorry that was my dog <laughs> okay going back yeah pretty much the same so we can pull three or at least three yeah but beta is kindly uh is actually kind of hard Alrighty, so let's move on. So I'll just have to go with this unique one right here, the fire support. And so I have two options either I'll have to take the hidden survivor or we're gonna have to get the raider. So in my case, let's just go with the raider. Okay, so yeah, same position. So we can get Sarah. We could at least pull in three or four survivors. I were able to pull four survivors at a time. But Beta is still alive. Okay. So next up. I'll just have to go with this one. Alrighty, so let's heal. Sorry. Let's move. Okay. And let's do the boss. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do this. Alright, so moving on. I'll just have to go with... On defeating an enemy, energy recovery 100%. Let's just try the choice of victory. And... We're able to get the... So here's the part where you can enter the hard mode. So you have two options. Either you're gonna go straight ahead to the third floor that is the easy stage right here or we're go going to get go here on the hard mode on the left side this is the left side in this area yeah so you can uh you can identify them by their color so the easy one right here is the red one typical arrow navigation from the first floor to until the second floor so yeah this is the easy one right here if you go straight but yeah this is the hard one so escalator hard heads toward the third floor going in will be extremely dangerous since the floor hasn't been fully scouted yet still the rewards might be worth of your while so let's enter let's check if our survivors will be able to defeat this one since we don't have any fallen survivors let's just have to go with the safe zone and our two options let's let's check if there's a difference 2 10 31 16 2 10 31 16 so it's actually pretty much the same and yeah i'll just have to go to 406 and the enemy has two healers so yeah, let's just have to put oh i for, i forgot theories was at the back there's no Sarah in the enemy side, so I should have put Therese in the front. But anyway, um, our survivor's health is actually pretty much okay. So I know we will be able to defeat this one.
Okay, so on this entering combat speed for 15 and let your combat increase attack by 20 for combats. Okay, so let's go with the full penetration. Let's check the suspicious peddler. Suspicious, so we don't have anything to buy. So let's just go in here. And you have two options 488 and 446. Let's check the reward 220, 31, 16. It's actually pretty much the same, but let's just go here at 446, or the rewards were actually pretty much the same. So, let's just go from here, because if we're going to put him in the front, he will be a, we will be, uh, we might be able to, we might be pulled by Abraham from the enemy side, so. Still the middle position for Abe is the good position on this one okay as you can see our survivors health are actually pretty much okay so let's just go with the booby trap two options again 505 and 461 225 31 16 225 31 16 so yeah um the what how, what do you call it the prizes are actually pretty much the same but anyways yeah i could say that the middle still a good part but this is his main damager right here uh this is actually pretty weak but i wanted to pull uh someone as much as possible but we're gonna have to put Therese in the front so yeah i think that's better but in case we won't be able to make it, I'm gonna have to reset it and do some adjustments on the positioning. So we'll see. Right, so as you can see, we were able to recover as we have our healer with us. So I have only have two options, evade plus 4D, chance to decrease target's attack. So let's go with a hollow, hollow point. So our main goal is to defeat the boss. Let's check first the prizes, so 230, 31, 16. So it's actually pretty much the same, so we we'll just have to go there. So yeah, same position. Okay, so random enemies damage taken 100%. So let's go with the focused attack. So we have two options. Let's check the loot that we can get. 158. So let's go there. It's 3000, this loot bag. So that's actually pretty much important. So let's dive right into it. Let's see. R is dying and so is Therese and we're able to heal, that's good. R is dead, but that's okay. Ah. 
We only have 10 seconds left. I'm afraid we won't be able to defeat it. OMG one. Oh, we're able to defeat it on the last second that we have lost R. In this case, if you have, if pretty much you won't be able to make it or by the end of the game you lost one survivor or two, you're gonna, you can just use your adrenaline so you will be able to revive some of your survivors but in that case i'm not gonna use any of my adrenaline i might be able to use that some other time since we are able to revive him in here or heal the buffs and at the same time we have buffs survivors so i'm not gonna use him i'm not gonna use any adrenaline right now so 240 32 18 240 32 18 so let's just go in here And since he's dead, we might gonna use Shane this time. Yeah, let's use Shane. The question is, do I have synergy? No, we don't. But we'll see if we'll be able to make it, even though we don't have synergy. Right, so Denise was able to heal. Okay. So we need Denise to heal again, so right, that's pretty much good. And Shane is dead this time, so. We're, and we're not gonna use the stimulation since we have not used, or we're not going to use adrenaline. So let's go with the medical knowledge and let's do the first aid. So we're able to revive R. Okay, that's great. And let's put R back again. And let's go. Oh, shoot. Let's wait, wait, wait. Would this be the last? Yeah, this is the last stage. So it's okay if we have fallen survivors in this area. So let's do it again. All right, so let's do it again it's actually pretty kind of difficult for me alrighty so let's try it again So we're able to defeat it. Alright, so rearranging is the key. So let's open it up and we've got another can juice. And we've clear cleared the supply run with the hard mode. So I think that's pretty much it. And yeah, again, I'd like to invite, if you don't have any community yet, you can join our community resurgence. So this is actually pretty new. And right, so if you're a casual player, you're welcome anytime. We don't have any requirements at this time. And again, this is your shortcake. And if you have any suggestions, questions, and if you think it, I did it wrong, please leave a comment down below so I can improve my game plan. And again, this is your girl Shortcake and see you in the next one. Bye for now.